the Capitol building is one of the most recognizable symbols of democracy in the world. That's why flocks of tourists stop here every day to take pictures. Allison Spann comes here every day too, on her way to Capitol Hill to talk to lawmakers. You know you're going to cover politics, um, and that's exciting because it doesn't just pertain to here in D.C., it's something that affects the whole entire United States, so it's really cool to be able to deliver that news um, that can affect your friends, your family, and even though they may be in California or they may be in Alabama, what you're reporting on is going to affect their daily lives, and it's information that they really need to have. She's a journalist with The Hill, an online political news site. Right now she's working on the hotly debated topic of immigration. That it's just good sound policy for them to um, to receive a path to legalization. Everyone has an opinion about it. There have been a lot of protests. There have been a lot of people lobbying on the Hill. So immigration is a really big story um, that we'll be putting out a couple more video pieces on in the near future. Allison believes that Americans should stay up to date on current affairs and hold the government accountable for the decisions they make. This was impressed upon her at an early age. My dad never shied away from letting me know what was happening in the world. So, you know, when 9-11 happened, I was nine years old. I was in the third grade. And uh, many kids that day, their parents just told them um, a version of what happened and that was it. I actually got home that day and watched the news, watched the coverage, saw the planes, you know, go into the two towers. And my dad always emphasized that it's very important to know what's happening in the world. Her father was a member of the CIA, and soon after 9-11, he told her he was going to go take care of the terrorists on their soil so they don't come over here and hurt anyone else. There's actually a movie out called 12 Strong Now that tells the story of these 12 um, Army Special Forces guys who went in, were the first ones in Afghanistan. That's actually not true. My dad's alpha team, CIA team, was the first team that was dropped into Afghanistan after 9-11. Um, and it was a, a group of CIA guys, they called themselves the alpha team, um, and they went over there and the ultimate goal was to find Osama bin Laden before an all-out war took place. Allison's father, Michael Spann, was the first American casualty killed in Afghanistan. He was killed during a prison revolt. His last moments spent fighting the war on terror face to face, like a true warrior. It always gives me good comfort that he died doing something that he wanted to do and that's something that he felt really passionate about and something that he believed in. Her father volunteered to go to Afghanistan to try to make the world a better place and Allison is trying to do the same thing. So I do think that journalists, you know, if you can do your job right and you can do your job well and you have a passion for storytelling, you can absolutely change the world. Reporting from Washington, D.C., Army Sergeant Jameson Crabtree.